He said to my dear brother Harry Belafonte, we have to be firemen to put the fire out. I said, no, we must let the fire burn. When John baptized Jesus, he said, I baptize you with water, but there's one coming after me that will baptize you with fire. Why fire? Because nothing remains in its present form when fire touches it. It must be burned. Listen to me. Because I really don't care no more about what anybody thinks. Because if we're going to go down this road and make a covenant, we can't make another covenant with death. You said in segregated schools, the right to vote, you got it? But the minute they gave it to you, they were finding ways to take it back from you. Can't you open your eyes and see the house is burnt? We are dying every day and we're in a hell of a condition because we've made a covenant with a government that is death itself with a people that have lied to us, deceived us, and murdered us, and rubs us good on one side and kicks us in the behind on the other. You are a deceived people. If you don't have the testicular fortitude to say what needs to be said, then sit down and stop trying to say you speak for our people and the hurt of the poor. Now I close. Excuse me. I applaud this covenant, but it demonstrates our impotence because in many of the chapters it keeps going back to not only what we do, but really start looking to the same liar that has continued to promise but never fulfill. And that's why God said, if my people, which are called by my name, will humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then will I hear from heaven, forgive your sins and heal your land. So don't look to them, look to God, look to yourself, break your covenant with hell and death, then make a covenant with black America and let's help implement a road map that will free us and the whites that will be freed can be freed by this. The Mexicans, the Hispanics can be freed by this road map. We are a universal people. We are a full nation now and we gotta stop thinking like Negroes and colored people and shines and ham bones and start thinking like free men and women who don't want to live on a plantation no more. I come here tonight and plead with you. Believe in yourself and believe that you're somebody. As I said to the group last night, nobody else can do this for us. No document can do this for us. No Lincolnian Emancipation Proclamation can do this for us. No Kennesonian or Johnsonian Civil Rights Bill can do this for us. If the Negro is to be free, he must move down into the inner resources of his own soul and sign with a pen and ink of self-assertive manhood his own Emancipation Proclamation. Don't let anybody 
Take your manhood. Be proud of our heritage. As somebody said earlier tonight, we don't have anything to be ashamed of. Somebody told a lie one day. They couched it in language. They made everything black, ugly, and evil. Look in your dictionary and see the synonyms of the word black. It's always something degrading and low and sinister. Look at the word white. It's always something pure. Kind. But I want to get the language right tonight. Freedom, we need freedom, 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 we need freedom, freedom.